Good day everyone, we are the group 5 of BN2 and we are going to present to you our manipulative for teaching mathematics in primary grades. Our topic is teaching primary grade level 2 to tell time. And our manipulative is called flower clock. Our flower clock is one of the teaching manipulative that helps children explore telling the time. It is suitable for use throughout the primary age range where teachers can demonstrate the relative movement of the hour and minute hands on the flower clock. In our flower clock, there are four parts and these are the minute hand, hour hand, minute numbers, and hour numbers. How to teach students to tell time using this flower clock? Step 1. Identify the clock's components. The ability to recognize the elements of the clock is the first step in learning to tell time. The numbers, the hour hand, and the minute hand are all included. Explain the parts to your students and let them practice pointing out which part is which. Step 2. Instruct students in telling time to the R. You can begin showing your students what time to the R looks like once they are familiar with the parts of the clock. Teach them to use our hand to determine the time. Then, check to see if the minute hand is at the 12 o'clock position. It's that hour of the day if that's the case. Practice by having your students adjust the clock to a time you specify. For example, can you show me what 5 o'clock looks like? Step 3. Teach half hour telling time. Introduce time to the half hour once your student has a firm grasp on telling time to the hour. They should be able to tell time by sight, such as 3.30, 6.30, or 11.30 a.m. Let's now move on to step 4, teach telling time to 5-minute intervals. Once kids can fluently and automatically count by 5s, you can start teaching them to tell time to the 5-minute interval. At this step, you will need to explain that they can count by fives around the clock to figure out how many minutes it is past the hour. So for the last step, take out your play clock when your student is ready and have them examine how the hour hand steadily travels from one number to the next as the minute hand makes its circuits. Then begin working at intervals such as 40 and 45 minutes beyond the hour. Finally, progress to times such as 50 and 55 minutes past the hour.